Financial Statement Vertical Analysis Problem 1. Starfruit Inc. provides the following data for year 20x9. Net sales revenue, $407,640. Cost of goods sold, $255,000. The cost of goods sold as a percentage of net sales revenue is what? We're doing a vertical analysis here. The way we know that is we're given two items in the same year, 20x9, same year, two items that come from the income statement, right? You have sales revenue and cost of goods sold. Both come from the same income statement. This is a vertical analysis because it's on the same income statement for the same year. If it was different years, 20x8, 20x9, then it could become horizontal analysis. This is vertical analysis. So let me explain vertical analysis. Vertical analysis, the percentage analysis of the relationship of each component in a financial statement to a total within the statement is called a vertical analysis. If we're looking at assets, the asset item is stated as a percentage of total assets. If we're looking at liabilities and stockholders' equity, it's a percentage of total stockholders' equity plus total liabilities, that percentage. Total liabilities plus total stockholders' equity. Sorry, reverse that. If it's related to an income statement like we have here, net sales revenue, cost of goods sold, the item, which here we're asked the cost of goods sold, which comes from the income statement, that item in the income statement is a percentage of sales. So remember, let's just write this down. If it's balance sheet and it's assets, any item that you're asked about when it comes to vertical analysis, so vertical analysis, the item, and it's all the same year, the vertical analysis, the item will be over total assets, over total assets. For liabilities, it'll be the item over total liabilities, plus stockholders or owner's equity. So I should say uh, stockholders' equity or liability items. It's the item, put X, over total liabilities plus stockholders' equity. If it's an income statement item like we have here, so if you're asked about cost of goods sold, gross margin, income tax expense, interest expense, operating expenses, gains on sales of assets that go on the income statement, the item you're asked about is going to be a percentage of sales, percentage of sales. And we're given sales. We're given sales. Here, the sales were told 407,640. So all we do here to get cost of goods sold as a percentage of net sales even tells us net sales revenue. We just take the numerator cost of goods sold over the denominator net sales revenue. That's all we need to do. That's all you're doing here. Not too difficult. Let's go ahead and calculate that. So cost of goods sold over net sales revenue. Cost of goods sold here, that amount, again, $255,000. So put $255,000. So $255,000 over net sales revenue. Net sales revenue is $407,640. And that percentage, which that's what you're solving for here, that amount equals 62.56%. So cost of goods sold is 62.56% of the net sales revenue. And we've just completed doing vertical analysis.